So over the past few months, I've been covering this Larsa Pippen story as it's taken many twists and turns. We've seen the young basketball player cheat on his wife, Scottie Pippen disrespected multiple times to his face, angry offspring, unforgiving ex-wives, and even an arrest. And overall, I've been very critical of Larsa Pippen here, but today I'm going to be throwing her some bail. It all started when Black Sports Online, aka BSO, published a story two days ago where they basically said LeBron's 16-year-old son, Bronny, was DMing back and forth with the 46-year-old Larsa. There was absolutely no validity to the story, and this was all based off of Bronny liking a single one of Larsa's photos. Look, I'm not saying I'm Team Larsa by any means, but to insinuate that someone is having a relationship with a minor with zero proof is not only extremely irresponsible but also grounds for a lawsuit. Does Larsa obviously have interest in younger men? Yes, but do I think she's this dumb and or sick enough to get with someone underage? No. So that was horrible journalism by Black Sports Online and people who ran with this story were outraged by this information. Bronny took to his Instagram story to say this, I liked one of my best friend's mom's pictures. Y'all just childish and even mama and papa got involved in this situation which you know means shit is about to go down when mama gets involved with everything going on in the world right now this is the shit y'all be talking about at the end of the day y'all talking about a minor i don't care what type of celebrity y'all think he is he's a child and the bullshit needs to stop y'all got the right one so it's safe to say that she's ready to pop off at any second then lebron chimed in just to say uh oh y'all fucked with the wrong one good luck it won't be cute wifey said don't worry king i got this so with all that being said and between Bronny doing this and him posting himself in 4k smoking on that clippers pack a few months ago i think it's pretty clear to see why lebron didn't want his son on social media so yeah overall i want to make it clear that the idea that this woman is having a relationship with 16 year old Bronny is just a flat out lie but while she had the eyes on her larsa took to twitter to tell that she's prepared to sue the fuck out of bso and drop a couple more apparent facts for the timeline. I've been separated going through a divorce for over two years and I've been linked to a few guys my entire life. So don't sit here and paint a picture of me that isn't true. Well, you did hook up with a dude who had a pregnant wife at home, so what picture does that paint? Malik and his ex were separated before I ever met him, and that's a fact. To which Malik's ex, Montana Yao, quote tweeted saying, This is 100% false. Continue to speak on my name and my relationship and we're gonna have issues. Receipts don't lie. Let's not go there. I think you've embarrassed yourself enough already. So it seems like things are getting spicier and all also cornier by the day, as his ex also dropped a horrible diss track on Lars's head top. You went and picked a side with them lame ass thirsty hoes. But hey, Malik's been ballin'. That old cooter got him feeling like a new man. Savannah James is about to beat the brakes off of somebody. And LeBron is just sitting back laughing while banning Bronny from socials until he turns 18. Will Malik ever stop knocking the dust off that old catcher's mitt? Will Bronny ever escape the gulag? Find out on the next episode of She Belongs to the Streets.